to another Sunday School Short. Today we're in Nahum. Some of you probably have never heard of Nahum, certainly not have read it, but that's all right. We're in it today. We're going to go through it. Nahum was a prophet. He was prophesying to the um, nation of Assyria. And if you remember, Assyria conquered Israel, the northern kingdom, in 722 BC, led them off into exile. Now, Assyria is going to meet their doom to the rising power Babylon in 612 BC. That's where we're at, 612 BC. A message to Nahum. Um, the Lord is a jealous God filled with vengeance and rage. He takes revenge on all who oppose him and continues to rage against his enemies. He never lets the guilty go unpunished. And that's true. That's true today with us. If you believe that Jesus paid your penalty, uh, then he paid your punishment. If you know that you're a sinner, recognize that and believe that Jesus died on the cross for you. So he paid your penalty, but yet he was stronger than death, rose from the grave, holds eternal life, and offers that to you and me who believe. Okay? So it is free. It's a free gift, but it costs everything. It costs Jesus his life. Um, it goes on to talk about God's power and attributes in the last part of 6. Who can survive his burning fury? And in seven, the Lord is good, a strong refuge when trouble comes. He is close to those who trust him, but he will sweep away his enemies. And the Lord says this in 12, Though the Assyrians have many allies, they will be destroyed and disappear. Speaking of uh, Assyria, um, I am preparing, the Lord say it, I am preparing a grave for you because you are despicable. See, God used the Assyrians for about 1,200 years, or excuse me, about 200 years as the world power of the time to destroy, to punish, to exile other disobedient lands. And now he's dealing with them and bringing his attention to them. 2 and 3, Nahum 2 and 3, verse 1, your enemy is coming to crush you, Nineveh. And Nineveh was the capital of Assyria. So just like when... Uh, in other books of the Bible where it says Jerusalem, you can switch those out for uh, Judah. And when it says Samaria, that means Israel because Samaria was the capital of the northern kingdom, Israel. So here he says, I will crush you, Nineveh, meaning the entire nation of Assyria. Jonah had prophesied in Nineveh about 180 years prior to this, but the people repented and they turned and they worshipped God. Now Nahum was prophesying their final defeat. Verse 10, soon the city, being Nineveh, uh, is plundered, empty, ruined, hearts melt, knees shake, that type of wording. And in 13, I am your enemy, says the Lord of heaven's armies. Your chariots will soon go up in smoke. Your young men will be killed in battle. Never again will you plunder conquered nations. The voices of, the pr of your proud messengers will be heard no more. And in uh, cha chapter 3, what sorrow awaits Nineveh, the city of murder and lies? I am your enemy, says the Lord of heaven's armies. I will cover you with filth and show the world how vile, vile you are. And it talks about previous nations and them being destroyed and compares Assyria to them in the following verses. And then in 12, all of your fortresses will fall. Uh, get ready for the siege. Store up water. Build up your defenses. The fire will devour you, and the sword will cut you down. There will be no escape, it says there in 15. And in 19, there is no healing of your wound. Your injury is fatal. Now, do you think God is serious about sin? Absolutely. If you've been with me since uh, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, Daniel, all those things, now we're getting into a lot of the minor prophets it's almost repetitive how he talks about destroying these nations. And he's dealt with Israel and Judah, the people, his chosen people, those he loved the most. And he talked about destroying them. And we learn about the remnant, the, the poorest of the poor were left there in the land itself. That was only about 10%. But yet we think the rest of the people were hauled off in exile. No. Only about 10% of those people were hauled off into exile. So that's only 20% that were saved. The rest of 
who were called God's people, the people of Israel and Judah, were destroyed out of their idolatry, out of their um, disobedience. So turn to God, run to him, um, be in God's word, be a daily Bible reader, get ahead of me in these minor prophets. We only got a few more days in the Old Testament. Like, subscribe, and share. God bless you.